Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're talking about Dolphin, Exegear, as well as Artemis PS3. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here with Dolphin, both on PC and on Android, and we're talking about the main build of Dolphin, not one of the many forks that are out there. Dolphin has made some major improvements recently. We've gone over a bunch of them on this channel and now they've summed it up in their progress report. In my opinion, this progress report is great to read through. There's a ton of information in there that go into a lot of detail. If you're into emulation, if you're into finding out the inner workings of things and how solutions are arrived at, you might wanna check out this progress report. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. This one contains three different months, November, December, and January. I'll try to keep things at a pretty high level here, and I'm only going to be pulling out a few different points. The first thing I want to highlight is that they state that the ARM version of Dolphin, the version of Dolphin that's used in many mobile devices, has reached feature parity with the x86 version of Dolphin, the version of Dolphin that's used on PC. Now I covered this one in a previous video, but if you are using Dolphin on Android and you have a Snapdragon processor, well, you've got an Adreno GPU and you should notice a pretty darn big performance bump, especially when upscaling. They have this new feature that's enabled by default. You don't have to go searching for it. It's called Disable Primitive Restart. The result here is a massive FPS boost. They tested this out on a bunch of different games here and we can see in red before when Primitive Restart was enabled and the blue is after. And there is a pretty big difference in FPS. Mind you, this is only applicable if you've got a Snapdragon processor with an Adreno GPU. Next up, the ARM version of Dolphin, which is mainly used by mobile devices, now has MMU support. MMU stands for Memory Management Unit and the only thing you really need to know about this is if you're playing a game that utilizes the MMU, you'll probably notice a pretty big FPS boost. Joss Juice here has Metroid Prime running a lot smoother, and Poke 22 here has a bunch of fixes that really make the games look a heck of a lot nicer. Next up, if you're on Android and using Wii, you'll really like this new feature. You can perform an online system update and it's simple and straightforward. Once you're in Dolphin, press the three buttons, the burger menu in the top right hand corner, then click perform online system update. This does use data, so make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. Once it finishes updating, put your phone into landscape mode here, click the burger menu again, and then click load Wii system menu and then enjoy. From here, you can load up the homebrew channel if you wanted. And even more updates for Android here. If you're using the touchscreen for your Wiimote, you now have a different option. You can try it out and see if it works a little bit better for you if you don't like the existing options already. And last up here, if you're using a Mac, well, there are some improvements as well. Mac users seem to get the short end of the stick when it comes to emulation, and hopefully here things get a little better for you, and it looks like things are starting to get better for you, especially if you're just trying to install Dolphin. So if you are an Apple or a Mac user, at least you have something to look forward to. Now moving on here, and we're talking about Exegear, which is a Windows emulator app available on Android. It used to be on the Play Store, but was taken down. There were two versions of it, a free version and a paid version. And if I'm not mistaken, I think now Huawei owns it. At a high level here, from my understanding, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but the magic behind Exegear is the fact that it's a wine port allowing x86 applications to run on ARM devices. And in my opinion here, this is a very obscure app. A lot of people think it's dead, but it looks like it's still active in some way, shape, or form. There is a Russian forum here, at least I think it's Russian. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. You can translate it to English and there is a lot of great information that may help you out a little bit. In addition to that, there's a very uh, interesting Discord group here called AVN, and they do have a step-by-step -step guide on how to get Exegear set up. There are some very questionable links here from sites like Mediafire and Mega.nz, and on top of that, it does look like development is still active. Now, I don't recommend using Exegear, but if you're dead set on using it, I will say to use it at your own risk and make sure you fully understand what you're getting into. Last up here, I don't wanna spend a lot of time talking about this because we've already addressed it in previous videos, but we're talking here about Artemis Emulator, the on-quote PS3 emulator for Android that will be coming out apparently on March 4th. Well, they're still uploading videos here and lately they've shown a play test from an Android device and a controller and a lot of people are saying, wow, it's now real. And as much as I wanna say, hey, you know what? It's awesome, we're getting a PS3 emulator on Android. I still think this is fake. 
I could be wrong here. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. There are some very questionable things going on with this YouTube channel. First and foremost, these videos aren't very informative. They're very cryptic. They're not showing a lot of detail and they're hiding a lot of things. Not everything is very direct. I'm all for emulation. I'm all for growing the community and I'm really hoping I'm wrong here but I will say don't get too excited about Artemis Emulator. But anyways, that is all I've got for you today. Short, sweet, and to the point, tall stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about pretty much anything we talked about today, whether it's Dolphin on PC, Android, or I guess Mac, uh, Exegear Emulator, or even Artemis Emulator. Do you think it's real or do you still think it's fake? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.